the will of god means many things for many people i want you to listen very carefully to what i'm about to tell you i've listened to different teachings about the will of god and i've explored i've studied the bible myself and i found out that many things people teach as relating the will of god is wrong is wrong two scriptures colossians 1 verse 9 please sananthem here every time we continue for this cause we also paul is speaking since the day we heard of it do not cease to do what so he's talking of prayer here pray for you and to desire that he be filled with number one the knowledge of his will and then in all wisdom and spiritual understanding so a man can be filled with the knowledge of god's will romans chapter 12 and verse 2 the last verse and then i teach a bit on the will of god romans chapter 12 and verse 2 ready and be not conformed to this world but be it transformed by the renewing of your mind that ye may prove what is that good acceptable and perfect will of god what is the will of god the answer was clearly stated in matthew chapter 6 and verse 10 what is the will of god matthew chapter 6 and 10 everybody read it one to read thy kingdom come it's not supposed to be a full stop there it's actually supposed to be a comma thy kingdom come by thy will being done in the earth as it is in the heavens so what is the will of god the will of god represents every action that causes the kingdom to come and causes christ to be glorified that is the will of god please understand this in the simplest term the will of god is not just what is right because the concept of rightness is relative in our world the will of god is any activity and any action let me define it very well number one inspired of the spirit number two consistent with scripture number three that is able to cause the kingdom the influence of christ to come and that christ be glorified whatever activity that revolves within that circumference can be called the will of god please understand this the will of god number one inspired of the spirit number two consistent with the character of scripture number three is able to cause the influence of heaven to be revealed in a life and within a territory and number four it ultimately glorifies christ whatever does not subscribe to these terms cannot should never be called the will of god this is a very powerful teaching are we together the will of god this is the answer whatever has the opportunity to cause the kingdom to come and to cause christ to be glorified and i if i be lifted up from the earth i will draw all men the will of god now watch this most of the main teachings have taught about the good will of god the acceptable the perfect will of god and so on and so forth and those things are there but i i do not think that those are i believe this is my opinion and i i believe it's consistent from scripture that there are only two dimensions to the will of god number one i call it the revealed will of god number two i call it the permissible will of god that's all there is and let me let me define it very quickly i hope you are not confused in this lecture remember we are still on point two are we together the second dimension of prayer but now it has necessitated doing a quick course on understanding the will of god the revealed will of god write this down please the revealed will of god is the will of god as revealed primarily from scripture full stop the will of god as as known to man primarily from scripture there is a reason why i say that please follow carefully 
God will give us intelligence now. That the revealed will of God represents the dimension of God's will that has been made known to man primarily from scripture. Notice, I didn't say only from scripture, but primarily from scripture. There are other auxiliary support systems of obtaining the revealed will of God. One is prophecy. One is visions. One dreams. Are we together? But the degree of error and inaccuracy in all these other methods is the reason why they all submit to scripture. I have taught this. That the prophecy of scripture is the highest, the noblest and most accurate of all prophecies. Word of knowledge, prophecy, like the dispensing of that gift or that office, and all other spiritual media for obtaining the will of God, they work, but they have a very high degree of error. And the errors are caused by many things. There is the error of perception. There is the error of reception. There is the error of interpretation. Are we together now? There is the error that comes as a result of the low level of renewal in the interpreter. All of these things together are a mix and they corrupt the purity of the voice of God through all those channels. You are safest when you understand and discern the will of God as revealed from scripture. I believe strongly that scripture was written so that it would not be changed. If scripture was only recorded in a radio, it would have been changed by now. Scripture was written. It is written. You hardly change what is written. Are we together? That means when I want to explore the will of God for his program, for my life, my first area of search is not a dream. Look up, please. My first area of search is not Apostle Joshua Selman to prophesy to you. My first area of search is scripture. And that from a child, thou hast known the holy scripture that is able to do what? To make you wise unto salvation. It is very important. Let me give you an example. Oh boy. An example of the revealed will of God. First Timothy chapter 2 and verse 4. First Timothy chapter 2 and verse 4. Everyone please read. Ready? One, two, read. Who will have all men to be saved and to come to the knowledge of the truth. It is God's desire. This is a revealed will of God. There is no need asking, Oh God, do you want my father to be saved? Oh God, do you want my mother to be saved? Your prayer is, Lord, give me the strategy for the salvation. Not whether he will be saved or not. Asking God whether someone should be saved is not correct because scripture has already opened his will. Number two, asking whether it is god's desire for the saints to do well is not a will that is hidden are we together now yes jeremiah 29 11 for i know the thoughts that i think towards you say yet the lord thoughts of peace or good and not of evil to bring you an expected end there is the will of god as revealed from scripture this is very important as we prepare to go to the third dimension because you see until you know what the will of god is you will not be able to make certain requests there are things we do as a ministry there are privileges we give to workers there are privileges we give to leaders are we together now it is it is something that has been put on ground the workers the leaders know and based on that knowledge it's not a mystery if they are if the workers are not sure they can go to their heads of department and their executives who help to interpret what has been put down by the ministry as far as their welfare and their provision is concerned are we together now yes 
for instance in this ministry whatever program we are doing as workers or whatever the moment it is night it is mandatory that under normal circumstances vehicles are around to help alleviate the stress of moving in darkness it's not something that is a special arrangement it is so after this service now there are buses that will be waiting to pick people are we together now now asking apostle do you think that there will be a bus after this service it's unnecessary because that will has been revealed are you getting what i'm saying now the scripture already has the most accurate dimension of god's will his will as revealed in scripture and then demonstrated in christ now listen carefully the bible calls jesus the image of the invisible god and i've taught you here that jesus came as a correction of the perceptions we had about god there were many things we did not know about god there were many things we knew but not properly about god so we look at the life of jesus in his earth work and we learn god by looking at jesus there's no need asking whether god is a god of love we see it in jesus we see how he treated sinners and publicans we see how he treated children we see how he wept at people's funerals so we know that god is love because jesus is was and continues to be loved are we together now god is a giver how do i know that five loaves four loaves little children have you any catch cast your net to the right side his life was full of giving till he gave his life so i know god is a giver so when the bible says he is the reward of them that diligently seek him i trust god because i see that truth of scripture revealed in jesus i know that god is slow to anger and judgment why because jesus was working with some disciples and they saw some other people and said can we command fire to fall and jesus said do you not know what spirit you are of the lord is gracious and compassionate slow to anger and rich in love jesus became a demonstration of that so nobody will come and talk nonsense and tell you our oh, god will kill you tomorrow throw away all that garbage jesus greater than any prophet is a representation of the fact that god is slow to anger let god be true and every man a liar are we together now it is the reason why we edit prophecies based on scripture and based on jesus the christ looking up to jesus he can be looked up to he is the author and the finisher of our faith that means our journey is with reference to the standard he gave us there is nowhere in all the 33 and a half years of jesus that i see him intentionally plotting evil against any so god does not think evil because as seen in the christ it was not there it is true that he judges but god is slow to anger so away with that theology that makes it look like god is chasing every man just to destroy you it's not supposed to be a license for licentiousness don't get me wrong but that it is consoling to know that we are wrapped up in the love of the father behold what manner of love the father had bestowed when jesus saw people who were who who were crying in funerals he joined them to weep we do not have a high priest who had not been touched with the feelings of our infirmity you know why i teach you this because the days that are coming are coming with too much spirituality and spiritism if you are not grounded on scripture many things will confuse you you will soon not know who god is again because there are pseudo actions that look spiritual but they are not consistent with the christ look up to jesus not apostle joshua selman look up to jesus not a preacher paul only said follow me as i follow christ before you follow me see who i'm following are we together let me tell you this the revelation of god's love in my life has done something to me when i say god loves me i really mean it it's not because of the results he loves me i have an understanding with god not only see my father this is not about covenant of ministry and this, god loves me 
I hear the chains falling. That's what is happening tonight. Chains from all kinds of teachings. Well-meaning but destructive. The will of God is that all men be saved. And all men come into the knowledge of him. It is the reason why in this ministry for instance. We do not fight our wounded soldiers. We stand for them. If people do things and go down, we are quick to come. You see me preach and it looks like I'm always holding a cane. Yes, I'm holding a cane, but remember thy rod and thy staff. I told you they don't do the same thing. Rod is for correction. Staff is to draw you. You need both. If you are a preacher and you have only staff, you will see the kind of members you produce. If you have only a rod, you will also see the kind of members you produce. To totally comfort people, you need the rod and the staff. hallelujah i love people if you are not growing in love you do not know god and the love of christ is not at work in you it doesn't matter what village you come from we have been called out of every tribe and every tongue and every nation are we together we have been grafted into that life of love by this shall all men know that ye are my disciples not when you heal the sick not when you preach love I hear the chains falling. Let fear live your life. I hear the chains falling. You cannot serve God in fear. You serve God in reverence. I hear the chains falling. I hear the chains falling. One of the most beautiful times in koinonia here is when we are done with the service and i have to hug my children you see all of them come over me that thing gives me a feeling that i cannot begin to describe no matter how you look at me and no matter what you are holding i turn to my children and give them a big hug they come with their their wet shirt from fighting over jews and so i still hug them like that i love them Behold what manner of love the Father has bestowed. The love of God is a very powerful revelation. Many people have exaggerated it. And their lives continue to be shredded into nonsense. They allow the devil to just come. And people have exaggerated the love of the Father to the point that they have covered the issue of hellfire. Hell is still there. Listen to my message last week. Hell is there. Hell is real lake of fire is even worse than hell many people talk about hell and leave lake of fire hell is a spirit hell itself will be relocated to the lake of fire those who are in hell now have not officially started their judgment the judgment will officially start when death hell the grave will be relocated into the lake of fire we don't know who is there but one thing we know is that there are spirits who are there bound in everlasting chains what i just told you is also love use this as a father and see how correct your children will be when i was in secondary school before they flog you they would tell you what you did wrong you will accept that i did wrong they will pray for you then they will flog you let's start koinonia secondary schools you will see how we we'll train these children i'm not going to bring this secular demonic babylonian training imagine that you flog your child and he knows what he did wrong just because you prayed for him does not mean you should not whip him foolishness is bound in the the heart of a child the rod of correction not prayer will drive it far from him there is a psychological testimony that your child did I'm only serving what the chef prepared this night <laughs> remember i told you that i'm only a waiter the principal chef is the holy spirit and his meals are always balanced and nourishing say amen, amen. so there is the revealed will of god number two 
there is the permissible will of god let me talk about that very quickly what is the permissible will of god now look up please i will say it then i'll repeat it as you write the permissible will of god represents actions that are within the boundary of righteousness god's character and that directly exalt the christ the permissible will of god represents actions that are within the boundary of righteousness comma god's character comma and directly exalt christ now just because it is permissible does not mean it is necessarily not the will of god permissible there does not mean god is managing it look up please there are things in scripture that are not written verbatim there is no way in scripture that is written that you will be in zaria now there is no way in scripture that is written that you have five children now please look up there are dimensions of god's will that are not stated directly from scripture at that point we use the tools of righteousness we use the tools of god's character and we use the tools of the exaltation of christ as the compass to help us to be able to walk around that way these three first then in addition prophecies visions and the rest come notice the bible says the kingdom of god is in talk to me righteousness peace and joy never in visions never in prophecy no the kingdom of god is in righteousness that means god's methodology peace joy in the holy ghost now let me tell you this this is the major area where as believers we have suffered a great deal again and again this dimension of understanding the permissible will of god sam has a program in two weeks return to worship now whether or not you had a vision or a dream or god just put it in your heart the truth is that that program if it is done in righteousness are we together if it is done consistent with christ's character and if it will end up glorifying christ it is the will of god that will support the kingdom as powerful as the will revealed in scripture are you getting me now this is where all the other auxiliary things like finding who to marry a job to do there is no way in scripture where it is written that pastor alpha marry annie but within the boundary of righteousness if you marry an unbeliever it was not the will of god are we together now but that within the boundary of the will of god you can find a sister that loves god and her life is consistent what is virtue virtue is a reflection of the, your closeness to the character of christ so i don't need to see a demonic sister or a devilish brother and ask is that god's will no in koinonia here for instance if you come and meet me and you tell me this girl that you use for example you like her for instance it can be within the boundary of the will of god if you are a well-behaved brother and you are responsible are we together it's my responsibility to vet you based on the will of god righteousness responsibility love and i can tell you with all the blessings of god and god will stamp it and endorse it are we together there are very few people on earth who because of their lives listen carefully and because of the nature of what they do for the kingdom god will meticulously place restrictions around everything in their life because the role that they play someone like me now you see almost everything about my life is meticulously guided do you know why the reason is because i carry a burden of a generation and the implication of everything i do is generational but that is not that cannot be a template for you it is the price i have to pay for carrying this anointing there is a maximum number of cars 
God has told me I may never have it if at all it comes and it's more than that you see God has searched my life and he has he has optimized the things that must be in my life for me to be effective that functioning at your optimal level will require this there are people who functioning at their optimal level will require that they are millionaires not billionaires some it will even require that they are not millionaires at all but it cannot be a template for everybody scripture come this brother now can be trusting god for a job lord should i go to enugu or should i go to lagos it is not written here directly the only thing is that the path of the justice has a shining light that shines brighter and brighter onto the perfect day so these are foundations i can take out time if this brother is given a job right now he needs to look at that job does this job compromise on my work with god are we together will this help me to be responsible if it does then within that this gentleman can safely go on that job now if for any reason that decision he has taken is against destiny god will go out of his way god does not only lead by saying start he leads by saying stop there are times you don't wait for him to say start you move if he keeps quiet he's endorsing you if he says stop you return I, I'm, I'm showing you certain things about the will of god oh god should i build a house god is a god of portions it's never his will for me to be a tenant for life so if some money comes wisdom that is profitable <laughs> wisdom that is profitable to direct should tell me buy land and start building if it is not the will of god god will show me are we together our precious men here have married good and lovely sisters not all of them saw visions some of them just directly in the name of honesty they saw a sister who loved god they came to me and i said god bless you you may be waiting forever for a dream a vision some occult type encounter now listen I'm, I'm telling i'm using this as a point of contact listen my brother let me tell you i'm saying it is not a you can sit down and trust god look at a godly sister god already gave you what virtue is virtue is not just the ability to cook virtue is your closeness to the character of christ find a godly sister that looks like that when a job 29 man marries a proverbs 31 woman they would give birth to a psalm 112 hope are we together there are people today who god already answered them and gave them good jobs but not understanding the concept of the will of god they are waiting for a vision nmpc gave you a job you rejected it because god called you into ministry i'm not saying it's wrong good good things came to you and you threw it away and god said i've tried for you and you are there now wallowing around and being punished for not discerning the will of god say in the name of jesus, name of jesus. i obtain grace to see to hear and to discern the will of god you are with a, a man who is smoking and drinking and ungodly and you said i would change him you are not in the will of god let me just tell you straight up this night the ministry of transformation is exclusively the ministry of the holy ghost any man that does not change before marrying you will seldom change he will remain that way and any man who changes just because he wants to marry you has not changed whatever a man does to only you he's not really is not a virtue in him if he's kind to only you he's not kind 
if he's truly kind he will be kind to everybody kindness will so implicate him even if he tries to lie to come out a lady who washes only your plate is not neat the virtue of thoroughness and excellence must spill out in every area i hear the chains falling yeah. I keep the chains when God brings a destiny helper that is blessed you don't fight him because you have been taught that all blessings come from God through men to men and if the men don't have what you are looking for you will not have it so it does not make you to look down on others but you pay attention when joseph of arimathea is coming you pay attention when pharaoh is coming oh joseph pay attention when boaz is coming ruth pay attention when ahasuerus is calling for women esther pay attention is how god lifts men god lifts men by bringing those greater than you to lift you it's a technology it's not hidden how does god increase a ministry by anointing them and putting the word so that they minister to people and the people that are built by that word will communicate benevolence the offering you gave is not going to heaven the offering you gave is what will pay boss tomorrow by sounds so it's not a mystery the more i continue to be anointed and i bless you and dispense spiritual value the more this ministry will continue to increase and i will also increase there's no gimmick about it so if you are poor and your pews are empty the problem is the value not just demons the knowledge of god's will will help us to stop talking a lot of nonsense bishop oyedeko says every man's calling is a high calling nobody has a low calling everybody's calling is a high calling so if you are failing in your life take responsibility don't say god made me to be small sit down and say why is my life not moving forward this cannot be the will of god for me to keep begging every day as a man moving from pillar to post i am a prayer warrior but in addition i should be blessed to be a blessing genesis 12 verse 2 and in thee shall all the families of the earth be blessed